Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, and I'm excited that you're here with me today to see the new release, the Charlotte Tilbury Starry Eyes to Hypnotize palette. And I just got this in the mail about three days ago, and I've been buying a lot of Charlotte Tilbury, and I purchased every single one of my Charlotte Tilbury products. Nobody is sending me anything here. And so these opinions are 100% my own, but I have to say I am loving this palette. Here it is, and look at the outside. It is absolutely beautiful. It's kind of raised, kind of a glittery silver star here for starry eyes, I guess. And then it is navy blue, which blue is a color I'm really getting into in terms of eyeshadow. And it is four totally curated palettes that are very simple to use. I love her shadow formula. It blends out very beautifully. It is not so highly pigmented that it gets chunky and that the colors are hard to blend. It blends absolutely beautifully. And this is the eye look I have on right now is this first little trio called Happy Glow. And you see everything here is called one, two, and three. That is kind of like a paint by number set for your eyes. So it makes this palette extremely easy to use for the beginner. Basically, the number one shades, she calls the primer shades, which can go all over your eyelid and up on your brow. The number two shade is called Enhance, and that is a shade that can go in your crease. And then the third shade is called Smoke, and that can smoke out the corner as this has done here now. Basically, the wonderful thing about this is it is about $75, but it is not like the little quads, which I think are $56 for four shadows. And I do love those, and I've been buying those like crazy lately. And I'll be having some videos applying those. And so if you're not a subscriber and you'd like to see that, please click the bell and you'll be notified of those future Charlotte Tilbury videos. I am really getting into Charlotte Tilbury. But here is a look at the four different palettes within a palette. I like to think. The first is Happy Glow, and Happy Glow is what I have on my eyes right now. It is a beautiful daily look. I can't believe how easy it was to apply. It is gorgeous. The second look is Love Glow, and it has more of the pinkish, reddish tones, which I'm not quite as comfortable with, but I'll be applying those in just a few moments and showing you how they work. And then the third is the Dream Glow palette, and that is beautiful greens, and they really turn out beautifully. I am so surprised. And the fourth little palette within the palette is Seduce Glow, and that is for evenings, date night outs, that kind of thing. But I do love the blue eyeshadow that's in there, the blue-gray eyeshadow. And the other day I wore it to work without the black on the outside, and it looks wonderful. Okay, I can't wait to show you these four looks from this great palette. And so let me take off this eye makeup, and I'll show you this first look. Okay, let's do the first look, the Happy Glow, a very wonderful daytime look. We'll go ahead and dip into the first shade, which is the Prime shade. And the Prime shade is just meant to go all over the lid from the top of the eyelid, clear up to the eyebrow, right, right below the eyebrow, not on the eyebrow, obviously. And it is just a beautiful little shimmery primer color. I'll put some in the center corners there. Try to null out some of that blue. As I've gotten older, I get bluer and bluer and bluer there. So that's how that looks, very pretty. And I'm using Charlotte Tilbury's Blender Brush. And next I'm going to go into her Enhance shade. And this is absolutely beautiful. It is just a little bronzy, kind of a daytime bronzy looking shade. I guess it could be evening too. And we're just going to put that all over the lid a little bit up into the crease, just a little bit. She calls it nestling into the crease. So I'm going to nestle it right into that crease. Beautiful, look how pretty that is. Love it. Other side. That is a very beautiful bronze. And I love it because it's very, very sheer in that champagne primer kind of shows through it a little bit and gives it all that much more glow. Absolutely beautiful. We're not going to go up hugely high onto the brow bone here. Stay nestled into the crease. Now I'm going to take Charlotte's smudge brush and go into this little camely color here. And we're just going to take it in the very outside of the crease as a little smoky accent color. She calls it smoke. It's number three in the palette. And each one of these trios has a primer shade, an enhanced shade, and a smoke shade. We'll just kind of take that in on the outside third, I would say, or outside fourth, maybe. We're just doing the little V there, taking it up into the crease, 
just a little accent. Now let me go back in with that blender brush and just go into that crease just to smooth that out, blend it out even a little bit better. These shadows blend like a dream. Absolutely wonderful. They are pigmented. Um, a lot of people on YouTube say they're not pigmented and I really beg to differ. I think they're very pigmented. However, they are buildable, which is very, very nice. So they don't go on in chunks and they're not hard to blend out. They're very easy to blend out. Now I'm just going to dip into that last shade again, the smoke shade, and pull it out just a little bit. Just wing it out there just a tiny bit up towards that eyebrow. Ooh, that is absolutely beautiful. Very shimmery, bronzy day look. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back in with a little smudger brush and I'm going to go into that second color which is the shimmery bronze, not the darkest, but the shimmery one. We're just going to accent the underlash area and bring it up to meet that cat eye area there. Almost went into the dark shade, which we don't need to do. You could, it doesn't really matter. You can be creative. Now I think I'll bring that even a little further under the eye. I love bringing those two shadows kind of cohesively together above the upper lash line and below the lower lash line. Absolutely beautiful. Now let's go back in and lighten up those inner corners with that champagne -y, peachy champagne -y shade there. Just going to put it right in the center there where the two lids meet in the inner corner. We can bring it up a little bit to bring a little bit of the lightness up there and down a little bit to meet with that line of that middle colored shadow there. Ooh, very pretty. Then we'll add a little lightness on this side, take it up. Then we'll bring it down on the lower lash line. Okay, there is how the Happy Glow looks so far. Absolutely love that. So let me go off camera for a moment and I'll come back with liner and mascara. Okay, there is that look. And again, this is the Happy Glow, the very first little trio here in this palette. Very, very simple to apply. Lovely day look. And I finished it off with my Pure Brown Eyeliner. I think it's called Earth. And then I followed up with mascara, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes Mascara. And on my lips, I have the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lipstick with a darker liner, the Lip Cheat Liner in Super Size Me, a little bit darker as you can tell. And I just got this in the mail. This is the Pillow Talk Gloss and I think it really looks lovely. Now this second look is the second trio here and this is called Love Glow and it is sparkly and shimmery like all of them but it has a little bit more of a rosy cast to it. So basically we're just going to dip into the number one prime shade, put that all over the lid, up to the brow bone. Love that shade, absolutely beautiful. Do the other side. These shadows just go on and blend just so smoothly, like a dream. Absolutely beautiful shadows. A little more on the lid. I'm always a more girl. Now let's kind of clean off that brush just a little bit. Actually, next, I think I will not use a brush on this shade. I'll go in with this little bronzy, orangey shade and just really dip in. Look at that gorgeous bronze there. And I'll go ahead and put it all over the lid. Oh my, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Do the other side. Sorry you can't see that. But Charlotte always puts these shimmery shades on the lid with the finger. I think the oils and the heat in your finger really does help them out. Okay, now let's go into this little rosy color, and this is the smoke color. And so I'm going to go in with a smaller brush here and just put a little bit in the outer V, a little bit right there. I don't tend to love reddish tones in eyeshadows because I think I end up looking like a sick rabbit. So we'll just do a little bit there. It does give it depth though. I like that little extra pop. Just a little bit of extra drama for that corner there. Now I'm going to go ahead and just use little circular motions to blend out those corners. Ooh, that is really pretty. The blending here is very easy in these little palettes. 
This really is a great beginner's palette, and it's so nice that the colors are all curated by a world-famous makeup artist. Ah, how did I get that on there? Oh, and I got my fallout. There is a little fallout, I have to admit. Go ahead and pull that up on the side there. I think that other side looks okay. Maybe I'll go ahead and pull it up too, just to make it match. Then I'll go in and repair that edge. And I am using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Concealer, and I love this stuff. I'm really surprised because I do need heavy coverage under my eyes, and this really does the trick. Looks beautiful. A little bit on that side. Didn't really disturb that side too much. So I'll go back in here. Just pull that concealer up there. Very, very pretty. That is absolutely gorgeous. Now I always like to smoke out a little bit under the eyelash. So I'll go in with that bronzy color, that middle color. Ooh, that is really, really, really gorgeous. A little on this side. Now let's go ahead on that inner corner with this little pinkish shade. And we'll go ahead and add just a little bit of glimmer to the inner corner. I really normally favor a champagne shade here, but this looks very pretty. We'll meet that line there. Just gives it a little bit of drama. And bring that color a little bit onto the upper lid. Absolutely a beautiful, dreamy, starry-eyed, love glow look. I do have to agree. Let me go off camera and I'll put on my eyeliner and mascara and come right back. Okay, there is the finished eye look with liner and mascara. And in each of these videos, I'm using the same liner and mascara because I really just want to concentrate on these shadows. And this is the Collab eyeliner and it is in brown. It's called Killer Coal. And the color is called Knockout, but it is brown. And I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes Mascara. Absolutely a lovely, natural, but a little bit glam mascara. I really love that look. And again, it's kind of got the rich fall taste. I really like this Love Glow. Okay, next we're going to dip into this third little palette within a palette, and this one is called Dream Glow. And this is very unusual because it is a green. And I've always heard that brown-eyed people should use green, so I'm kind of excited about this. Now I'm going to go into her prime shade and just put that all over the entire eyelid up to the brow, just to give it a good prime and just to kind of smooth everything out. Isn't that beautiful? We go dip in on the other side. Very, very pretty. Kind of a champagne-y color, love this. This is really my favorite highlight color. Nice and neutral. I'm a little out of my comfort zone in all of these intense colors in this palette, but I think it's a wonderful way to try because all of these colors are kind of custom matched to create a great, slightly more colorful eye. And I have a feeling that's where the eyeshadow styles are going, is into more intensely colored eyes because we've had a lot of years of neutrals. Okay, now I'm going to go into this second color here, which is this medium green. Really tap that off. And we're going to kind of buff that out over the lid. I probably went a little too close to the inner corner there because you do want to keep that kind of light. Ooh, a very pretty shimmery color. We'll take that a little bit up into the crease, nestle it into the crease. As Charlotte says, we'll pull it out a little bit on the corner just to give it that little bit of a feline fleck with eyeshadow, I guess. She loves that word, feline fleck. So there is that. Do the other side. It's absolutely a gorgeous shimmer, but it is not filled with chunks. It's not one of those chunky, glittery shimmers. It's almost like a satin. Very, very pretty. Oh my, how gorgeous is that, girls? Very, very pretty look. Shimmery, but not too shimmery. Classy, I would say. Let's go again a little bit into the crease on this side and pull it out just a little bit, just to give it a little bit of a wing on that side and that side. Ooh, absolutely beautiful. Okay, now let's go in with a smaller kind of a pencil brush and we're going to go into the smoke shade. And again, just a little bit on the outer corner here. 
And you can get creative with this palette, or you can stay one, two, three like she does. And that makes it really easy. One is the primer shade that goes all over the eyelid. Two is the enhanced shade, which can go on the lid or in the crease. And three is the smoked out shade. This is the smoked out shade, this darker green. And it is just kind of giving everything a little bit more punch. Now I'm going to go in real quick with my blender. And I'm just going to use little circular motions here to kind of blend in the rough edges around there of the crease and in that little wing area. Ooh, how beautiful is that? Now let's go in with this second color, this kind of an olive green, really tap it off, and we're going to go underneath the lower lash just to give it a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of shine. I am really liking this green. If you have brown eyes, I think you would really like it too. And let's go ahead and pull that up in the corner. Now let's do a little bit of this darkest green in the outside corner of the lower lash right there. And you can just bring it up into that cat eye kind of area. So there we are. And I think I'll go ahead and take a little bit of this lightish champagne color and just give us a little more brightness in this inner corner. Ooh, pretty. Okay, there's that green shadow all on my eyes. Let me go off camera and I'll put on my liner and mascara and come back to show you. Okay, there's the final results. And again, I use the same Charlotte Tilbury mascara and that Collab eyeliner. And there is the beautiful shimmery green results. This is very, very lovely and I can see it being great at holiday parties. Okay, here I am with the fourth and final look from this beautiful Starry Eyes to Hypnotize palette. I almost said mesmerize because Charlotte loves that word, but we are into the fourth little palette within a palette here, and we're just going to go ahead and dip into the lightest color, little champagne-ish color, which I do love. And I'm going to make this a day look because I actually have to run back to work, so I don't really want to have black eyes when I'm in the office this afternoon. So we'll just make it kind of a nice smoky blue day look. Other side. I'm going to try not to get the fallout down there so I don't have to uh, get out the concealer again and do that bit. Now we're just going to take the same brush that I wiped off a little bit and we're dipping it into the blue. And we'll just start putting that on very, very sheerly. I'll see how sheer I can get it. A little bit up into the crease, but not much since this is a day look. Ooh, that blue is gorgeous. I'll pull it out a little bit. This reminds me of when I was in the seventh grade, and I think it was probably Cover Girl Blue. I wore classic pink blush in seventh grade and some sort of a vivid blue eyeshadow and pink lipstick. Put a little bit into the corner here. Go up slightly into the crease. Pull it out here. Darn, got a little fall out there. Let's go ahead and take some of that blue and go under the lash line. I always do like to do that, even during the day. I think it just looks more cohesive on the eye. Now I could use this color on the inner corner, but I think I'll go back to my favorite little champagne color and just do a little bit of lightness right here. Just a little bit to accent that beautiful blue eye pretty. Okay, there's that beautiful watery ocean blue eyeshadow. Let me go off camera and I'll put my liner and mascara on and come right back. Okay, there's that seductive glow eye look, and I use the same brown eyeliner, but I really wish that I had dipped into one of my navy eyeliners and even my navy mascara, because I think even though this is a day look, it could have handled that and it would have really accentuated the blue. Absolutely gorgeous color here. And I will say about this palette, 
This palette gets me a little bit out of my comfort zone with all of this intense color, but if you're like me and if you're used to browns and creams on your eyelids only, I feel like this is a great palette to get you out of your comfort zone because each of these little mini eyeshadow palettes is its own color story. The colors are curated so beautifully you can get a professional makeup look even if you're somewhat of a beginner. And to help you learn more about all of these products, I have the links below to the Charlotte Tilbury and or Sephora websites so you can check out this palette and all the other makeup I used. Okay, if you're not a subscriber and you'd like to join the 50 plus beauty family of women trying to make their second half their best half, then I hope you'll subscribe. And when you click that little bell, that just sends you email notifications of my future videos. Now, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I've been reading from these Miracles Now cards by Gabrielle Bernstein. Let's see what positive thought we can think about for today. Oh, here's a good card. I speak with confidence because the world needs my light. I speak with confidence because the world needs my light. Oh, friends, I absolutely love this card. And sometimes we get a little lack of confidence and we forget to remember that, that God put a special light inside each one of us. He filled each of us with special gifts and talents. And it's up to us to have faith in that, to believe in it, and have the confidence to share who we are with others. Because no matter who we are or where we came from, let's remember to speak with confidence because the world needs our light. Take care, and I'll see you in my next video.